Well, disappointing in the outcome, but uh, kids played really hard. Got to give thousand credit. They made made the plays in the end. Uh, but I thought our players battled the whole game and we just didn't make enough plays in the end. But you got to you got to get your hats off the thousand. They made enough and more than we did in the final final call, and that's the way it goes. But uh, I'm proud of the effort, and, and uh, you know uh, we just got to make a few more plays and we can come out on top. Um, no, I don't think so. No. Nope. Aaron, we're allowed that uh, passing game to go with the opponents that uh, um, I mean, we talked about it during the week. Uh, the Towson does a good job of disguising their coverages, and we just talked about you know making it simple, knowing what we're doing, and um, you know obviously the offensive line came back big time this week um, from last week and um, gave me time, and then the receivers made made a ton of plays. Trey, I wonder if you've seen uh, Aaron is good in making decisions as well as throwing the ball. As far as making decisions as in what? And throwing the ball. It looked like he wasn't the right guy. It was a better play. Oh, up. yeah. Um, I mean, I've been saying this all year. Uh, the YRC group is uh, good all through. And court just found the open guys today. Hey, both guys, can you talk about big picture now? Yeah, how, how can you guys turn around your season? Well, I mean, I wouldn't say we're concerned at all. There's still a lot of football left to be played, and, and obviously we're disappointed about this loss, but you know, we have a bye week coming up, come back, regroup, and next week we'll be ready to go versus Maine. Aaron, do you think back to the first half and then earlier in the third quarter, not get seven when you could, get three or get none? Yeah, I mean, yeah, definitely. Every any time um, you're down in the red zone and and you don't you want to get seven every time, so you know it's definitely disappointing. Um, and uh, and you know, it'll probably hurt us in the end. Anything else for the players? Charles, did you find anything particularly easy tonight in getting open? Is there any one reason you would attribute success to against this defense? Um, our offensive line doing the job, uh, giving Corp the time he needs. Um, when everyone does their job, it's easier on me to do my job. And without those guys, I couldn't do it. Uh, Corp does a great job throwing the ball. Uh, he knows how to find the open guy, and we were successful in the air. Is that a double move at the end of the first time? You had that five or six yards? Yes, sir. Um, you know, they just made some plays in the end. You know, I you know, got to give hats credit to those guys. We didn't come up with some of the plays we, you know, you hope you make in those situations, but they did. And you know, we just we did we didn't come up with the play. So, okay. uh, I noticed you switched to a three-four at some point in the second quarter, and you got away from that. Um, did you like what you saw? Or uh, I think I mean he gave us some things in there. More than anything, we did out of necessity right now because we're down down numbers and we get the way to give some of those other linemen a blow. We were really down to six healthy defensive linemen out there tonight, um, so we really had to get some, use some different packages to help those guys out. So that was more out of necessity than anything else. We just added an extra linebacker in there with our three down look um, to do it that way. So it was a three four set, but uh, it gave us something, and more than anything, it gave us a guy, our guys a blow. Can you talk about how frustrating it is again? Uh, not everybody put down the same page last week. The offensive line struggled, but the uh, shutdown Jamie's ranking this week is pretty much the opposite. Well, I mean, you know, the thing about it is the kids are giving great effort, and we just, you know, we just got to see if we can put one full game together on both sides. And if we can do that, I think we'd be a pretty daggone good football team. But uh, you know, it's it's no fault of effort on any side. And, you know, we just got to do it. We got to keep working to get better, and I think these kids will. We got a long season to go, and. Um, you know, this program's been in this situation before. We've got a lot of pride, and we'll come on back and we'll be ready to go. We play Maine.